the next global conflict isn't fought on land, sea, or air, but in the invisible realm of cyberspace. This question is not a hypothetical one anymore, but a stark reality that is being shaped by geopolitical tensions, technological advancements, and strategic maneuverings by countries across the globe. Welcome to an era where the battlefield has shifted from the physical to the virtual, from the visible to the invisible. A world where territorial boundaries are irrelevant, and the vast, intricate of cyberspace is the new arena of conflict and warfare. The paradigm shift is not just transforming the way we think about war, but is also radically redefining the rules of engagement. Traditional warfare as we know it is being by a cyber version that is much more subtle, sophisticated, and potentially devastating. One country that is leading the way in this new age warfare strategy is China, with a keen focus on harnessing the power of new technologies and leveraging the opportunities presented by the digital age, China is the conventional paradigms of warfare. It is devising a strategic approach to cyberspace that is not just innovative but also deeply disturbing in its implications. Imagine a world where spies are not humans lurking in shadows but algorithms and codes, silently infiltrating servers and networks. In this world the espionage is not carried out through physical surveillance but through digital intrusions. China's strategy in cyberspace includes the potential use of such technologies for espionage, and this poses a significant threat not just to the United States but to the global community at large. The gravity of this threat is not a figment of a science fiction novel, but a pressing reality we are grappling with today. And it's not just the military and defense sectors that are vulnerable. Civilian infrastructure, the very backbone of our societal functioning, is also in the line of fire. Imagine waking up one day to realize that your city's power grid has been sabotaged, or your country's financial systems disrupted. This is the kind of scenario that could potentially unfold in a cyberspace conflict. Yet, despite these alarming possibilities and the pervasive sense of vulnerability, it's crucial to remember that this is a new battlefield. The rules of engagement are still being written, and the strategies are still being developed. As we navigate this uncharted territory, we must not just stay informed and prepared, but also actively participate in shaping the discourse around it. We are at a critical juncture where our decisions and actions will determine the future of cyberspace warfare. The stakes are high and the challenges are complex, but with knowledge, awareness, and collective effort. We can steer the course of this new age warfare in a direction that upholds peace, security, and the integrity of the digital world. As cyberspace becomes a new battlefield, the rules of engagement are still being written. So, let us all come together and delve deeper into this fascinating and complex world of cyberspace warfare. China's strategy in cyberspace is aggressive and evolving. This statement rightly establishes the framework as we delve deeper into the labyrinthine world of cyber warfare. At the nucleus of China's strategy is an unyielding determination to gain an upper hand in the realm of information and data. This pursuit is more than a mere quest for higher numbers or smarter algorithms. It's about earning a pivotal advantage and retaining a firm grip on control. China is leveraging its substantial advancements in technology to exploit vulnerabilities in U.S. systems. They are meticulously probing for weak spots and rigorously testing defenses to find avenues for potential attacks. The risks posed by such operations intensify exponentially, particularly during periods of military conflict. One can only imagine the ensuing pandemonium if communication networks were to falter during a critical military operation, or if vital data were manipulated or entirely obliterated. The stakes in this digital warfare are astronomically high. The potential for cataclysmic damage is immense. However, China's operations in cyberspace are not acts of sabotage or subterfuge. They are deliberate, well-thought-out components of a broader strategy, intricately woven into the fabric of their military doctrine and political ambitions. China seeks to challenge U.S. dominance, not merely in conventional physical spaces like land, sea, or air, but also in the digital realm. It's a game of chess of epic proportions played on a global scale, where data is the king and the internet the grand battlefield. China's moves in the digital arena are calculated with precision, their strategy is dynamic and continuously adapting to the ever-evolving landscape of cyberspace. The implications of China's relentless cyber strategy extend far beyond the of military and intelligence. The civilian infrastructure ranging from power grids to financial systems are equally susceptible to these threats. These are not just hypothetical scenarios we're dealing with, but real threats that require immediate attention and decisive action. 
However, it's crucial to remember that this is far from a one-sided game. The US is not a mere passive player in this digital chess, they have their own strategies, defenses, and countermeasures in place. The real test, the real challenge lies in staying one step ahead, in accurately anticipating moves, and effectively countering them. China's strategy represents a significant challenge to US security and dominance in cyberspace. It's a challenge that demands constant vigilance, unwavering resilience, and an unshakable commitment to safeguarding our digital frontiers. The battle for cyberspace continues to rage on, and the stakes have never been higher. The potential for catastrophic damage extends far beyond the military. As we progress into the unparalleled era of digitalization, the fragility and vulnerability of the civilian infrastructure become increasingly pronounced. Picture a disturbing situation where our power grids, water treatment facilities, or our financial institutions are dreadfully compromised due to a massive cyber attack. This isn't just a temporary blackout or the lights going out for a few fleeting hours. Rather, it's about the profound ripple effects an event of such magnitude could trigger on society, humanity, and the economy. Let's take a moment to consider the power grid. This complex network is the veritable backbone of almost everything we do in our lives. From heating our homes to powering our hospitals, electricity enables our basic survival, and it's a critical piece of infrastructure that we often overlook until it's too late. Now picture a sinister cyber attack that successfully takes down portions of this grid. All of a sudden, hospitals could find themselves struggling to keep life-saving equipment operational. Emergency services could be critically hampered, unable to respond to crises, and individuals, the fundamental building blocks of society, may find themselves without essential heating or cooling, which which can swiftly turn into a matter of life and death in extreme weather conditions. And it doesn't stop at the power grid. Our water treatment facilities, transportation systems, and financial institutions aren't standalone entities. They are all interconnected, entwined, and heavily reliant on digital systems. A cyber attack that compromises one facet could trigger a domino effect, leading to widespread disruption and potentially catastrophic social and economic repercussions. The potential for such an attack is not just a figment of the imagination. In the not-too-distant past, we've witnessed instances of malicious malware like Stuxnet, specifically designed to target and disrupt industrial systems. And as technology continues to advance at an alarmingly rapid pace, so too does the potential for more sophisticated, more damaging and more far-reaching attacks. The vulnerability of civilian infrastructure to cyber attacks is a stark and sobering reminder of the shifting dynamics of warfare in the 21st century. It highlights the urgent need for robust cybersecurity measures, not just within our military institutions, but within our civilian infrastructure as well. And the responsibility doesn't just lie with tech experts or cybersecurity professionals. Everyone, from the individual user to the largest multinational corporations, has a critical role to play in ensuring the security of our digital in safeguarding our digital lives. Protecting civilian infrastructure from cyber attacks is a pressing concern for national security. As we continue to chart the unknown territories of cyberspace, it's crystal clear that our approach to security needs to urgently evolve. This isn't just about protecting our physical borders or our geopolitical interests, it's about safeguarding the very systems that our society depends on day in and day out. As we stand on the precipice of this new digital battlefield, we must all be vigilant. We must all be warriors. Despite the risks, there are limitations to the effectiveness of cyberspace operations. The world of cyber warfare is akin to a multi-dimensional chessboard. Like every coin has two sides, this realm also has its strengths and weaknesses. A given that cyber operations can disrupt critical infrastructures and create pandemonium, however, they are far from being infallible. One of the significant limitations of cyberspace is the increased vigilance during times of heightened conflict. This situation mirrors a city amping up its defenses when under a potential threat. In the context of the digital world, this signifies an upsurge in surveillance, bolstered security protocols, and the deployment of swift response squads prepared to counteract any security breaches. This heightened state of readiness can considerably diminish the effectiveness of cyber operations, transforming a possible severe digital strike into something barely more than an irritation. Another key constraint is the intricacy involved in attributing cyber attacks. The virtual nature of cyberspace provides an opportunity for attackers to conceal their identities, making it extremely challenging to identify the source of an attack. This could result in incorrect allegations, 
complicating international relations and possibly leading to unnecessary conflict. The potential for an escalated situation is another significant impediment. A cyber attack on a country's infrastructure could be perceived as an act of war, resulting in retaliation of the same kind or might even provoke conventional military responses. This risk of escalation could dissuade countries from initiating cyberspace operations initially, restricting there as a strategic tool. In addition, the continuously evolving nature of technology also imposes a challenge. Cybersecurity measures are persistently being enhanced and updated, making it an ongoing competition for attackers to stay one step ahead. Therefore, the rapid development of technology also diminishes the effectiveness of cyber operations. Additionally, the trend of international cooperation in cybersecurity also a vital role in limiting the functionality of cyberspace operations. Countries are now working together to develop comprehensive guidelines and norms for responsible behavior in cyberspace. This collaboration makes it harder for attackers to exploit vulnerabilities and makes the digital world a safer place. Despite offering new avenues for conflict, cyberspace operations also introduce an array of new challenges and complexities. They are no magic solution but just another tool in the toolbox toolbox of nations. The expanded chessboard of international conflict now includes the virtual realm, but the game remains as intricate and convoluted as ever. While cyberspace operations offer new avenues for conflict, they also present new challenges and complexities. Like any other form of warfare, they are not a magic but just another tool in the arsenal of nations. The chessboard of international conflict has simply expanded into the virtual realm, but the game remains as complex as ever. As we navigate this new battlefield, what strategies can we employ to maintain security and stability? That's the question we must answer, not just technology professionals or cybersecurity experts, but all of us as part of a global digital community. The solutions go far beyond the mere designing of formidable firewalls or developing complex algorithms. Rather, they lie in stepping back, broadening our perspective, and looking at a bigger, more comprehensive picture. The primary step towards achieving this is fostering international cooperation. We are living in a world where geographical boundaries are blurred in the digital realm. It is an epic where the world is connected by the click of a mouse or a tap on a touchscreen. Here it becomes vital to nurture a sense of unity, a bond that transcends borders, a global alliance against potential cyber threats. This alliance implies the establishment multinational task forces, making a combined effort to secure our digital landscape. It involves sharing critical intelligence, pooling resources and working together to fight potential threats. It is indeed a complicated task, a multifaceted challenge, but if we succeed, the potential to revolutionize the cyber landscape is immense. The next focus area should be strengthening our cyber defenses. This is a task that extends beyond safeguarding military and government networks. It spreads into civilian infrastructure, our power grids, transportation systems. These elements form the veins and arteries of our society, and protecting them is of paramount importance. To achieve this, we need to invest in the latest technology, nurture a skilled workforce, and foster a culture that prioritizes cyber hygiene. In addition, we must promote and establish norms of behavior in cyberspace. Just as there are rules of engagement in traditional warfare, there must be established in the digital arena. This involves setting clear guidelines to define an act of war in cyberspace, establishing mechanisms that attribute and hold accountable the responsible entities, and ensuring that all players realize the potential fallout of their actions. The terrain we are treading is laden with challenges. It is a battleground where the enemy is unseen, the weapons are sophisticated, and the landscape is constantly shifting. The stakes are high, and the urgency to act is pressing. The future of conflict in cyberspace may be clouded in uncertainty, but it is crystal clear that we must be prepared. We must not wait for the storm to hit, but rather, let's build a ship that can weather it. After all, it's not just about surviving the battle, but about shaping the future of the digital world. Before we close, we extend our appreciation to Tyson, David, and Derek for their unwavering support of our channel. Your commitment and active participation play a crucial part in our journey and we are profoundly indebted. We take pleasure in producing informative content, and it's due to such exceptional supporters like you that our mission continues. We trust you've enjoyed this deep dive into cyberspace operations and Chinese strategy. If it appealed to you, why not hit that like button? It aids in broadening our reach and promoting awareness about these imperative matters. And, if you're not a part of our family yet, consider subscribing to our channel.
Our dedication lies in probing the complex questions of our era, and we're eager to include you in this exploration. Do you have someone in mind who might find these subjects intriguing? Sharing this video with them could be valuable. It's our collective effort that can cultivate a more enlightened and involved community. We appreciate your time and involvement. Always remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons for more comprehensive content on cyberspace operations and strategy. Stay informed and stay safe.